Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of the Unhighlights. Twenty twenty one rolled in with great news about the vaccine approval in India. On Sunday, third December, the Drug Controller General of India approved two coronaviruses vaccine. one of which is the serum institute of india's covishield vaccine and the other is bharat biotech's covaxin both of these vaccines have been approved for restricted emergency use as these vaccines get the government's nod of approval the government has given surety to the citizens as the dcgi mr vg somani said We will never approve anything if there is slightest of safety concern. Vaccines are hundred and ten percent safe. Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi also added by stating that every Indian should be proud that the vaccines given approval are made in India. While we are proud to finally see a ray of hope in the fight against COVID-19. and even more proud to have a vaccine approved which is home grown and our government and prime minister have been all praises for these two vaccines let's have a look at each of these vaccines in detail the covishield vaccine has an efficacy of around 70% which is well below the efficacy of vaccines like pfizer and moderna which have an efficacy above 90% The Covaxin on the other hand has not even completed its phase 3 trials which means that the efficacy of Covaxin is completely unknown. Do note that the higher the efficacy of the vaccine the more chances it has of preventing and protecting us against the virus. Experts in the field of medicine raise concerns over the approval of both these vaccines. While one vaccine only has an efficacy of 70%, experts have questioned why vaccines with higher efficacy were not considered. Not only this, the approval of Covaxin without efficacy data has raised even more eyebrows among scientists and experts in the field of medicine. All India Drug Action Network said it was shocked They went on to say that there are intense concerns arising from the absence of efficacy data. While phase 1 and phase 2 are encouraging and experts say that it looks like India has rushed into the approval of vaccines without waiting for the trials to end. Another alarming concern is that since these vaccines are approved for emergency use it means that the first to receive them will be frontline workers and senior citizens who are most at risk for coronavirus with little known about the efficacy of the vaccine it means that the high risk people will actually test the vaccine for india the effects and its chances for preventing the virus will be experimented on high risk individuals before they actually come to people like me while i would love for my loved ones and myself to take the vaccine without any worry that will only happen if there is transparency to the people as to why these vaccines were approved over others in the process of making india atmanirbhar and proving india made vaccines are better than the others are we risking the most vulnerable citizens of india do share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below that's all for today i am abhila krawala thank you for watching tns news while we love bringing the news to you we would also like to remind you about our initiative for citizen journalism we cannot be everywhere which is why we need you to report anything you feel we need to cover or any good work that you would like to acknowledge around you do write to us on the given email address with your stories don't forget to like share and subscribe to tns you can also visit our website for more detailed news bye bye